Hello everyone and welcome to this Cotswold Bees video entitled A Little Light Vacuuming. Now don't worry, I haven't got a sudden new enthusiasm for housework. It's because this was the first outing this year for the bee vac. And as you can see, a least likely day for actually doing beekeeping it would be difficult to find. About uh, six or seven weeks ago I woke up, looked outside and this is what I actually saw. So a pretty cold day, completely unsuitable for beekeeping. The plan was quite simple, light the fire, cup of tea, bit of cake and maybe take the dogs for a walk. But certainly not beekeeping. And then I got a phone call from someone who had been refurbishing an old house. They'd been taking down the ceiling in one of the bedrooms and found a bee colony. The bees obviously were less than pleased to see them and they were suddenly starting coming out, they were stinging all the workmen and they couldn't continue with the work. So could I go down and have a look and see if I could remove the bees without damaging them? I was quite keen to see if I could help because with the actual colony exposed, even though it was inside, the temperatures were very, very low and it would be difficult for the bees to keep the temperature up enough to survive. So I put everything in the back of the truck, drove down there and you'll see what happened next. A couple of things though before we actually go to the video and that is, first of all, it was the first outing for the bee vac this year. It's a great way of removing bees from confined places without actually damaging them. The second thing, it was also the first outing ever for the GoPro on a headband and so maybe the footage isn't quite as good as it might have been and I was a bit hesitant as to whether to put this video up or not just because of the quality of the video but I thought you'd find it interesting. And the third thing is you'll notice my breathing's not over good. Um, that's nothing uh, to worry about but it was really really cold in that room. It was minus five, minus six degrees C which for our American friends is down towards the sort of 22, 23 degrees F. So it was a bit cold. Anyway, anyway, let's go over to the house, have a look at the colony and see what happened next. So this is what I found when I got to the house. You can see a lot of comb and there's a small number of bees down the bottom. And then we've got some really, really dark comb up the top here and the main colony right at the top, hidden away underneath the plasterboard. Now you'll see from the video, the colony was pretty well exposed. The workmen had done actually a pretty good job considering they were under attack. At first I thought there were two colonies, one at the top, a big one, and then a smaller one at the bottom. But it turned out to just be a ball of bees at the bottom. The other thing is, before we actually start, people will ask, well why didn't I actually cut out the colony? And the reason for that is twofold. Firstly, this time of year there's no brood in the nest, so I'm not wasting any brood by vacuuming the bees out and then treating the wax separately. The second and the main reason is, if there's any disease in that colony, it's going to largely be in the wax. So if I can separate the bees from the wax at this stage, then I stand a chance of actually making sure that I can deal with any disease that's there as a result of that colony having been there for an awfully long time. And you can see by the colour of the wax, it's absolutely black. That colony has been there for a long time. The other thing is, you'll hear when I do start to cut the wax out, it's very, very dry. That colony was very close to starving, there was very little honey in there, so actually, probably the workmen did them a favour by exposing them. The next bit of the video shows how I got the bees out, how I got the wax out, and what happened next. Not the most flattering of angles, but uh, good to get suited up properly. When you're dealing with bees that you don't know, it's always good to have as good protection as possible, so a full suit, and also the leather gauntlets. These bees were cold, but they were probably a bit aggressive because they'd been exposed, the cold was there, they'd not got a lot to eat, and they had been defending their colony against the workmen. So no chances. Here's the bee back, ready to be used. So the trick is to get as many bees as you can and then get in and expose more of the colony, vac those, expose more of the colony and vac those. The stragglers, some will fly back to the colony and some will fly to the window and we'll get those later.
The technique, as you can see, is back a bit, leave it, let the bees come to the edge, and then back them again. Fortunately here, the comb was really shallow, not into the roof very far at all, so it was easy to get all the bees. <laughs> Having got most of the bees out, I could start on the comb. And you can hear the crunch as it comes out. The comb's bone dry, there's no honey in there at all. And certainly no brood, fortunately, so I'm not doing any damage to the colony by actually just cutting this comb out. Having cut all the lower wax out, it was then time to start on this really black comb at the top. Not a lot of wax in there, it's nearly all cocoon. After about an hour or so, I got most of the bees out of the colony and it was time to mop up the stragglers around the window. Then it was time to move on to see if I could get any honey out. There we are then, one bee colony successfully saved and taken back to the isolation apiary. Now I would have liked to have filmed me getting them out of the bee vac and putting them in the nuke box and feeding them, but frankly I was frozen by the time I got back to there, all I could think of was tea and cake, and all I wanted to do is get them out of the bee vac, into their new home, get them fed and get back inside. So apologies for not actually filming that. However, just to end on this video, here's a film of them just a few days later flying freely out of their new home and I'm pleased to say that six weeks later that colony is building up well, it's taking a lot of sugar syrup, they're soaking stores and there's signs of pollen going in so I think there's a laying queen in there as well. So I think we've had a really successful time getting those bees out and giving them a new home. And the work's going on back at the house, and the workmen, who were absolutely brilliant, a couple of them when I got down there had actually got sort of stings with lumps the size of eggs on their heads. Um, they tell me they're all fine and they're really pleased that the bees are doing well. A successful story, hope you enjoyed it. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please subscribe and also tick the bell and that will leave you a notification when we put the new videos up. And also, if you're interested in the bee vac, let me know in the comments and I can do a short video on it. It's nothing terribly complicated, but if you want to see more, then just let me know and I'll do that. So until next time, enjoy your beekeeping. We'll soon be into spring and we'll be able to actually start making some videos outside.